Welcome to our Spotlight of the Month. I am here with Nathaniel Stephen Devour. Welcome. Hi, how we doing? Doing well. So tell me about yourself, man. Um, I'm a born and raised uh, Rochesterite. Um, born and raised? Yeah. Been a musician for quite some time. Took classes out at the college. Um, and now I just kind of do my own thing. Run a little production studio on the side. Mostly just uh, singer-songwriter stuff. But I enjoy life, you know. Ah, cool, cool. And Aspired? Yes. Aspired is the, the name with which I create things. So... Um, whether it's when I do my own music, I'm, I'm aspired when I'm producing other people's music, aspired production or aspired music when I'm doing films and stuff, aspired production. So it all kind of falls under that one moniker. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's influenced you into music? Um, it was more like forced, but you know, I had some pretty awesome parents are like, Hey, you, uh, you six years old, you learn piano now. And I did that for like a decade and got me to hate music enough that, I found my own ways to enjoy music after, you know, the constant, did you take piano lessons or anything no, growing up? No. Yeah, it, it's not as fun as you would think it is. Um, but basically, so I eventually then taught myself guitar and then eventually was like, oh, do the band thing. And um, yeah, I guess I just started assembling studio equipment and like, I'm going to do this. It's going to be fun. Cool. Yeah. So musically inspired by your parents making you play music. I guess, like, yeah, at the beginning it was kind of that. It was forced upon me. All I wanted to do was play Pokemon and, and eat yeah. cereal, you know. It's any kid dream right there. So they inspired, yeah. aspired. The, I guess you could say that. You know, they gave birth to me, too, so I feel like that's part of the inspiration process. Oh. A little bit, you know. You'll never think about that. No, no, really, I won't. <laughs> What's the one thing you want ah! people to take away from your music? Uh, the one thing I want people to take away from my music, it's mostly... Um, just an experience that they wouldn't have otherwise had if they hadn't listened to it. So whether it's enjoying some of the melodies that I put together so that they can, you know, have like a little happy moment in their day, or if they can get behind some of the words and the lyrics that I'm saying and maybe make an impact on them a little deeper. Um, it's just kind of, you know, music a lot of times nowadays is just done to be done, done to make the money for a lot of people. Um, and I like to think of it as a little more than that, a little something that can really help enhance one's day and finding people who that does impact. I find this the most interesting conversations you can have when someone's like, dude, I love this song. Dude, I love this song too. Why do we love it? It's music. You know, it's expression. Yeah. I understand that. It's... Long story short. But... <laughs> well, I know people are going to enjoy your music. What's the best way for them to contact you for booking? Um, the easiest way, Aspired Music, which is just like inspired, but with an A at the beginning. Um, if you look up Aspired Music on the Googles or on the Bings or whatever you use to search the internet. Um, the Googles? Yeah, the Googles. That's what I call them. Um, the Google gods. If you just search that, I have like the first three hits. I totally planned it that way. Um, but my website's the first one. That's where you have all my booking contacts, stuff like that. And actually some of my free downloads and some looks at like what I do with um, film and art and other facets of creativity.
I'm as old as I'll ever 